Hi, I'm Cliff Alaperti with ImmortalEphemera.com, and today we're taking a look at a, move, a set of movie cards from the late 1940s, the first of three similar sets issued with Turf brand cigarettes by the Carreras Tobacco Company. These are the 1947 Turf Film Stars set of 50, and you're looking at Glenn Ford. And I don't have any great ones to show you here, but in the gallery that follows, you'll see all 50 cards, and they will be the uncut cards from the boxes, and I mentioned that I wanted to show you some that were uncut. And this is what they look like, cut from the boxes, halfway decent cut with the borders, still in decent shape. Uh, they're on cardstock, they were like a cigarette box, there's not a lot of flexibility, it's a pretty thick card. And to give you an idea of scale, I'll put, I believe that's John Alvin up against a quarter. And then, as I like to do, I'll compare the card to a 1979 Topps baseball card, basically a standard size baseball card. And today we use Toby Hara, who everybody loved as a kid because his last name was a palindrome. Uh, so all 50 of these are coming up. You're going to see them uh, completely uncut off the boxes, uh, single uh, card boxes. And here they come now. Enjoy them. Warner Baxter leads off the 1947 set of 50 Turf brand film stars issued by Carreras out of the out of Britain. Uh, Post-war set, the first of three annual film star sets issued by uh, Carreras with the Turf brand. You had these 1947 film stars, the 1948 film favorites, and the 1949 famous film stars, which is my favorite of the sets. It has actual photos of the uh, heads of the actors on cartoon bodies. This is more of a standard set. And as you can see, these are the... Uh, Shown on the full boxes, I had a whole set of these at one time. Card number two is Ann Sheridan. And I've also seen, uh, these are the Turf 10, the box. I'm assuming that means that the uh, packet contained 10 cigarettes. There's also a Turf 20 version that has two cards on each box, or slide. Card number three is Judy Garland. And you often see these cut off the boxes. Uh, and when you do so around the borders, the cards measure about one and three eighths inches by two and five eighths inches. And this is true of all three of the turf sets. Number four is Constance Bennett. Number five is Bogey, advertising the product. It looks like Humphrey Bogart. Card number six is Larry Parks who I, I always watch a couple times a year in the, uh, when he stars in the Jolson story and Jolson sings again. Gotta love those just for the soundtracks alone. Card number seven is Ingrid Bergman. And as you can see, there's a lot of big stars throughout this set. Number eight is Dean Clark. Number nine is a slightly bigger star, Betty Davis. Number 10 is Bob Hutton. Number 11 is Greer Garson. Personal favorite. I have quite a bit about her on Immortal Ephemera. Number 12 is Jack Carson. Number 13 is Alexis Smith. Number 14 is Margaret O'Brien. Already a few years after Meet Me in St. Louis. Number 15 is Clark Gable. And this brand is a uh, brand of cigarettes distributed by Car Carreras, which is the better known name. That I believe they launched this as a brand in 1921, according to Wikipedia. Number 16 is Frank Sinatra. Number 17 is Martha Vickers. Lauren Bacall's younger sister in The Big Sleep. She'd marry Mickey Rooney in a couple of years, which stands out in my mind because I bought a huge collection of Mickey Rooney photos at one time, and there's several have him and Vickers throughout their marriage. Number 18 is Eleanor Parker. 
I'm not sure if I mentioned it, but like the other uh, two similar sets, this is a 50 card set. It says so right there by the number just under the star's name in the bottom border of the actual card itself. Uh, Gregory Peck is number 19. Number 20 is Van Johnson. Number 21 is a stern looking Errol Flynn. Or maybe he's just bored. Card number 22 is Elizabeth Scott. Number 23 is Spencer Tracy. Card 24 is Dancer Ann Miller. Dancer and Actress. Number 25 is John Alvin. Twenty-six is Leslie Brooks. Twenty-seven's a good seller, Ronald Reagan. It's a few years after King's Row. It's around the time uh, he appeared in that Hagen girl with Shirley Temple. Number twenty-eight is Dennis Morgan, Jack uh, Jack Carson's partner in the Two Guys movies. Number 29 is the former Herman Bricks, Bruce Bennett. He appeared in a Tarzan serial in the mid-30s, but I know him best. I, I guess I like him best in uh, Sahara, 1943 with Bogey. Number 30 is George McCready, with the scar on his face concealed. I guess he's best known for appearing in uh, Kubrick's Pairs of Glory, but... Small movie you might want to check out I reviewed on the site is uh, My Name is Julia Ross from 1945, I believe it is. He's creepy in that one. Card number 31 is Rita Hayworth. Number 32 is Alan Ladd. Card number 33 is Ida Lupino. Still exclusively acting at this point, a couple of years away from directing, or beginning her directing career. Card number 34 is Dorothy Lamore. 35 is Lauren Bacall. And you can see these aren't the highest quality cards, just a blue and white, but an attractive pose. Several throughout the set. Card number 36 is Glenn Ford. And like I said, you usually see these cut off the boxes, and the cut can be kind of sloppy. I always try to get them where you can see all four borders, at least. Card number 37 is Diana Lynn. 38 is Joan Caulfield. And all three of these sets, you, if you look good enough for the, car, for the cards cut from the box, you're going to probably pay in the $50 to $75 range. Sky's the limit when they're on the full boxes like this. You see them uncommonly enough where if you're selling them, you can kind of ask whatever you want and they'll move eventually. I don't have any left. Uh, number 39 is Veronica Lake. A few years past the peekaboo style. Number 40 is Bob Hope. And appropriately enough, number 41 is Bing Crosby. Card number 42 is uh, Evelyn Keys. Opposite Larry Parks in the first of those Jolson movies. Uh, number 43 is Janet Blair. Card number 44 is Gail Russell, who I love opposite the Duke in Angel and the Bad Man. It came out this year, 1947. John Wayne, one of the... Uh, most notorious missing characters from this set. He's not in this one. Russell died tragically at age 36 of alcoholism in 1961. And Dora from Bewitched. Agnes Moorhead, card number 45. It's hard to 
say and believe that she's best remembered for that when she appeared her first couple of film appearances with Orson Welles in Citizen Kane and The Magnificent Ambersons. Card number 46 is William Holden. Card number 47 is Fred McMurray. Who led enough movies where the My Three Sons uh, thing is, comes in second, I think. Card number 48 is Michael North. Card number 49 is Janice Carter. And we finish off the set with card number 50, Ray Milland. And like I said, this is the first of uh, three similar Carreras Turf brand sets. These are shown on the full boxes. And these, this is a 1947 set. The additional sets came out in 48 and 49. And we'll probably take a look at them at some point in the future. And I hope you enjoyed looking at those cards. There's a gallery on the site that actually uses those same images at immortalephemera.com. And you can also shop for similar vintage movie cards, photos, postcards, etc. at store.immortalephemera.com. You'll find the links to those both below. And also below, if you like this video, please subscribe. Thanks very much for watching. Bye.